Good morning, this is Shelby Law with the Great Basin Fire Potential Briefing for Thursday, August 15th, 2019. The main fire potential impacts uh, include some wind and some dry conditions over the next couple of days with the strongest winds over southeast Idaho and western Wyoming today. Uh, some of the fuels in western Wyoming aren't quite critical yet, um, but we're still hi highlighting those areas. And then we're expecting some gusty winds with critical winds over eastern Utah on Friday and those winds lighten up on Saturday. Yesterday we had sunny skies across the geographic area with uh, just a little bit of thunderstorm activity there over the Uintas. Fire activity has been uh, somewhat light across the Great Basin with a few initial attack fires popping up there in eastern Nevada and portions of Utah. The observed precipitation for the last 14 days is shown here with the observed amounts on the left and the percent of normal on the right. Some areas did see above normal precip over the last couple of weeks, mainly over southeast Idaho and northeast Nevada and portions of northern Utah as well. Current ERCs are shown on this map with most areas between the 50th and 70th percentile. Uh, we do have a few areas that are uh, increasing back up to the 70th to 80th percentile there in the uh, southern Utah. Um, and, and all these areas are going to be seeing ERCs increase over the next couple of days as we continue in a warm dry pattern. Taking a closer look at a couple of our zones uh, there in eastern Idaho, those values are near normal for the time of year. Um, certainly not anywhere near the historical records we were citing this time last year, but they have been on the upward trend the last couple of weeks. And the same thing for far southern Utah. Those values are quite a bit above normal for the time of year um, because the, the monsoon moisture has just hasn't really filled into that area consistently over the past uh, couple of weeks. And so those values are actually bumping up on historical records for the time of year. This morning's satellite imagery shows clear skies across the geographic area with the center of the high located to the south and west. This uh, dry pattern will continue through the weekend uh, with very dry conditions across Utah and Nevada and, and, and slightly higher humidities across the north. A closer look at the winds shown here show those higher gusts over eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. Uh, relative humidities are a bit higher up north uh, and so we'll be right on the cusp of those uh, red flag warning criteria. But across Utah and Nevada, relative humidities are very low in the single digits. The pattern continues tomorrow with warm and dry conditions. The winds will be focused more over eastern Utah on Friday, with a slight cool front moving across the northern half of the geographic area, allowing those minimum relative humidities to come up just a bit over northern Nevada and northern Utah. Warm and dry conditions continue on Saturday with uh, slightly lighter winds across the geographic area and continued low relative humidities, especially over Nevada and central and southern Utah. Three-day precipitation totals are shown here. We're really not expecting anything in terms of precip for the next couple of days. Warm and dry conditions continue on Sunday as the high pressure uh, builds in just a little bit. And that will continue on Monday and into Tuesday and even into Wednesday we'll still see warm temperatures and generally dry conditions. We may see a little bit of moisture starting to creep back in and bring some maybe some clouds back into the geographic area by midweek next week. Seven day totals for precip are shown here. Still looking for that dry pattern to continue into the uh, middle of next week. The extended forecast from the Climate Prediction Center for August 22nd through the 28th is calling for above normal temperatures and below normal precip for most of Nevada and Utah with uh, maybe a slightly cooler signal across Idaho and maybe a chance for some precip, above normal precip there over the central Idaho mountains. This concludes today's fire potential briefing. Please check back tomorrow for the latest updates.